guys, I'm back. So let me pull out my cards and let's do a group reading, shall we? I was going to do a card pull of what it is that we need to hear now currently with some Oracle support. I'm gonna be working with the African American Tarot. Is that the temperance card? Hello again, good sir. I've been pulling this card a lot lately. But yeah, I'm gonna be working with the African American Tarot. And then we're going to grab some Lenormand energy. We're gonna grab some oracles and support it. And what's for us in the future? I want to lie down and I want to get close to you. So the first thing that I'm seeing is a duck. Yes, that's right, a duck. Not in my third eye, but in real life. Look at him over there swimming and Franklin observing. That's pretty cool. I'm acting like I've never seen a duck before, but I just thought that was really cool that I saw that duck. Okay, so the first thing is the Eight of Swords and the Devil card and the Seven of Swords. And the first thing that I think of when I see this, when I see this combination, especially the Seven of Swords, I think that, you know, well, I definitely feel like in a lot of ways, like we are our own worst enemies, but the enemy side of ourselves is not actually ourselves. It's the wounded child or those memories or these trigger, I don't wanna say triggers, tr things that trigger us, but it's a, a, a learned behavior, like a learned reaction to certain things, how we react and how we perceive things and what we look for. And then when we look for that thing, we look for confirmation that proves what we think is happening. And that's when we become our own worst enemy. And definitely with the Eight of Swords, this is anxious thinking. This is worst case scenario. This is, I can think of all the ways, eight different ways, an infinite. Why infinite? Because eight is the number of infinity. I can think of an infinite amount of things that could go wrong or an infinite amount of things all different types of things. My brain can run and race and jump and go all these different places. And that is toxic. It is dysfunctional. It is Franklin running after a squirrel. He done left me, y'all. Can you see him? Franklin! Let me go run and get him. Be right back. Come here, babe. Come on. Yeah, eight is the number of infinity. So there's like an infinite loop of worst case scenario situations that our brains can just pull out of our asses really or out of the ass of something that's just not positive and constructive and what what is the point of that and what happens is we lock ourselves up we become obsessed we become possessed by that thought that negative thing and it becomes toxic it becomes draining the good ideas your ability to enjoy the pleasure of the moment is completely robbed of you and that's what it is that we need to hear now and I also think that with the Seven of Swords, this is an example of people who have done us wrong or done us dirty or have lied or have cheated or hold certain things back or have done things. Their intention didn't serve our healing. You know what I mean? Like their intention or maybe it was for the best sometimes, but the end result ended up being something that impacted us in a negative way and it bleeds like that's a it's a bleeding wound and when the seven of swords is reversed i'm seeing this as stop looking for that same behavioral pattern stop looking for that same thing occurring again because it's a time and a space for you to mentally open yourself 
we're not even talking about manifestation. We don't even want to even get into that space of manifestation. We want to get into a space of um, having like peace, internal peace, internal blessing. Before you even go into manifesting anything, do you feel do you feel peace? Do you are you enjoying the present moment? Or are you robbed of that the pleasure of the present moment? It's not about thinking about the future. It's not about being obsessed with the past. Let both of those things go because they're not even real. Like that's not even actually what's happening currently. What is happening currently is what is right in front of our eyes, which is the present moment. And that's all we have at the end of the day. So if that's all that we have, then that's all that we have. We should be doing nothing more, nothing less. I think that in a lot of ways, people are so focused currently on setting intention and manifesting. And with that, they are calling out because they're capturing the power of the mind and the power of the voice and the power of written word and setting intention and ritual. As they're manifesting and as they're setting these intention, not only are they manifesting these realities, you know, these blessings, but with it, it's almost like stress and anxiety and tension and conflict. They're getting pulled. So you're manifesting these blessings, but internally, can you even enjoy it? Because do you even have peace? Okay. So before I move forward, because this, this reading does get a little bit more positive, before I move forward, I want the universe to speak to us through this deck here. Notes from the universe on love and connection. What is it that we need to hear, spirit? divine speak to us in a way that gives us peace what do we need to hear to give us peace now currently a message of love and light one last one because i really like the number of three Ooh. all right let me sit up because this is about to get juicy i'm just kidding okay Aw, I like this. And it's funny too. So it says, you will be surprised. Which is funny because you can't get surprised if you're so busy controlling, trying to control your circumstances and control the environment. How can the universe surprise you if you are so rigid and set in your ways? How can you even enjoy the surprise when the universe is there to bless you and give that present to you? When you're like, what is it that you have? Like, just trust me, man. Just trust me. Just know that it's something good, right? That's like me. I, I personally don't really like surprises. I'm a Virgo, so I'm sure you guys aren't surprised to hear that. But I, even like when it's like wrapped, I'm like, why did you wrap it? Like that just delays my anxiety to figure out what's going on on the internal. I don't even know why my brain thinks that way, but I had a friend making fun of me about that recently. And by recent, I mean within the last month where they were like, even us wrapping the gift, it's, it's like, it just delays it. So it just doesn't like surprises. And I'm learning now to be a little less rigid and to be a little bit more open. It's almost like what I'm seeing with the devil card is like this obsession. Like what's going to happen? What's going to happen next? It's an infinite amount of things that your brain can think of. So just legit, just be present in the moment and allow yourself to be surprised. Ask with love and their answer may surprise you. Yet whatever their answer, be happy and this may surprise them. So it's like no matter what the outcome is, for good or for bad, whether you can think of it, all the infinite ways that something could, could go right or all the infinite ways that it could go wrong, just be present in the moment and just know that there is a gift there for you. Even I think that sometimes even when we think, oh, how good is this going to be? I can't wait. You're still anxiously prepping for the future. Just be in the present now and enjoy that because then you can find yourself. Then you're possessed by the future. Then you're obsessed with the future. How's it going to manifest? Don't worry about it. Allow yourself to be surprised. The next card is karma is on your side. And I love this card because I've been pulling the justice card a lot lately. And basically it's like what it is that you put out there, that good energy, the things that you've been calling out, the things that you've been wanting for yourself, you will receive it because the universe is all about creating balance. If you have a lack in your life, then that means there is less there. That means that there needs to be more. So the universe is always working to restore that balance infinitely. That's what the universe and cycles and energy, how it works and how the planet works and how nature works. If there's less, it's going to provide in order to restore that balance. If there's too much, it's going to cancel that out. So just be in that present moment. Karma is on your side. If you've been a good person and if you've been loving with your full heart, if you've been honest with your intention and you know operating from that space of love and 
I don't want to say divinity, but just doing things from your highest vibration, know that karma is going to restore it. Know that what you have been needing and what you've been asking for and what you desire is something that's going to be coming to you if you're open to being surprised, but you also cannot be obsessed with the outcome, right? Oh, and I like this says, everyone is doing their best. And that to me is so important for us to hear it because it's like, when you look at things, you can get really frustrated, especially when it comes to dealing with the Seven of Swords energy with people lying or you know that people have the potential to do better but they just simply will not do it for whatever reason it's because they're doing their best granted their best may not be enough you know what i mean like maybe you deserve more from them maybe they don't have enough to give to you maybe they're commitment phobic maybe they're um they don't know what they want maybe they keep getting triggered by things and reacting or maybe it's you who's doing doing your best and somehow it just feels like that isn't enough well karma is on your side things are going to inevitably balance themselves out but the way that it balances itself out is not by you anxiously observing it and obsessing and trying to put your hands on it and control and manipulate it just allow yourself to be in that present moment and be still and as I'm saying that now I want to move on to these cards the C melodies so what is it that we need to hear with that with this being in the present moment oh wow there's a lot of cards that jumped out. This card lately, or this word lately has been a common theme, empathy. It says there's more beneath the surface. Empathy is not about knowing the answer. It's not about providing an answer, providing a solution. It's about being present and being open in that and being vulnerable in that. So it's not about like fixing the problem or knowing what's going on and providing a solution. It's about moving from your heart space and just realize that that is enough. And to be present in that moment for yourself and also for others. And maybe you need other people to be empathetic with you. You don't need them to be sympathetic, you need to be empathetic. Meaning like, you know what, I've been there before, I know what that feels like, or I don't know what that feels like, and I'm sorry that you're here, and just know that you're not in this alone. Like, I want you to know that I'm here with you. And at, at least that's all I can do. I'm not gonna provide a solution, I'm not gonna provide an outcome, I'm not gonna, there, maybe there's nothing that I can do to change this outcome, maybe we just need to accept it as is, but as we're accepting it, know that you're not in this alone, and that I am with you. Sometimes just knowing that is all that you need to know, all that you need to hear that's going to help you to be present in that moment. It's like, let's not race and fix it. Let's just be present in this moment. Safety, it says, don't be too proud to go back to shore. To me, this makes a lot of sense when it comes to everyone is doing their best and the seven of swords. So it's like, again, with the seven of swords, I feel like people aren't giving you their best or maybe you're not able to give your best to a certain situation because you're doing the best with what you got, but what you got still isn't enough. So maybe you are being triggered by things. Maybe you're in a space where you're vulnerable and you're emotional and you're needing to ask for help and you don't really need someone to tell you what to do, but you just need someone to be there present with you. So, or, or maybe while you're coming out of a space where you've had a lot of seven of swords energy where it's been kind of toxic and draining and not exactly all of what it is that you deserve. Let people, especially if someone's done you dirty, if someone's been lying or saying awful things or dragging you along or tagging you along for the sake of their own benefit, um, which is things something that people have been dealing with a lot lately. I've been seeing it within the chart and I've been seeing it in your comments with your relationships and disconnecting those toxic relationships. Saying that, sorry guys, the sirens are going saying that everyone is doing their best it's not allowing it's not being permissible it's not like saying like okay this is okay but it's you disconnecting from the bind and the hold that it's had on you and how it has almost manipulated your thoughts and changed your ability to you know feel peace and to feel love in the present moment so what we're doing is we're releasing ourselves from that from that confine from that um, way that it is you know how does it feel so restricted and so negative like this th this devil card it's not always negative but as I'm looking at this today I feel like it is negative I feel like it's something that is a burden on your heart and it's something that's been holding you back 
in its toxicity and it could be a toxic relationship or I think it's a, a, another an outside circumstance like an outside situation or it's the direct result of relationships in your life that have taught toxic traits or triggering toxic reactions out of you and that's why again it's like everyone is doing their best but at the same time we need to have empathy within that empathy for yourself first and foremost compassion but yeah and I don't see it as a quick fix I really don't I think it's just being present again and like resetting just by being still here now and then the next card is explore maps show what has already been discovered go another way and when I see this I'm seeing this as the map of your life meaning like what the journey has looked like for you it has to shift it has to change for you to get to a different direction so it's instead of exploring and repeating the same thing which is literally the definition of insanity and it has this like this mental this mental state this eight of swords and this devilness this devil card is going to bring you into insanity it's not good for you it's it's toxic it's draining so when I'm seeing explore I'm seeing you trying something new from a space of being empathy empathy having healthy boundaries for yourself asking yourself why why is it that I'm doing this why am I saying yes to this person what is my real reason for doing this and is it healthy and if it's not healthy then go another way explore a different option because what things have been like in these certain road maps that you've seen before in your life you have to switch it up and go a different way like you've seen the signs before so if you've seen the same things kind of repeating itself and you don't want to have the same end result switch it up okay so that really makes sense so far now I want to show with the future currently what is it that we need to hear there's a lot of options again so it's like the mind again it's like thinking of all these different options all these different things it's like okay knowing that I want something different for myself and I'm waiting for that and I'm expecting that and I have a lot of energy within me how am I going to focus this energy in a way that is constructive and positive and will get me to a different outcome that is in alignment with what it is I'm trying to manifest in my life but again back to what I was saying before that it's not only only about manifesting your desire it's about having internal peace so I'm thinking that with the seven of cups there's this space of forgiveness that needs to still happen as you're exploring these different options and trying different things it's not one and done but it's like allowing yourself to feel things out and to give yourself the space to try this vibration and when it feels weird and when it feels toxic, that's when you are give yourself the chance to change your mind and to go a different way. That's all about this exploration. It's not just, okay, I'm going to go this way and it's going to be the right way and this is going to be it and that it's concrete, it's set in stone. I think sometimes that's this energy of like perfectionism that we've been seeing lately within the cards and within my messages which is like don't expect the first decision to be the right decision and for you to stick with it forever this isn't like word is bond commitment you know what I mean like locked locked in locked in loaded this is about you know the space and the freedom to try different things and to explore different things in order to get to that different end result and enjoying that process and allowing it to give you life and allowing it to inspire you by simply seeing all of what is in front of you, all the different options and not limiting yourself to that. And the two of wands is again, it's all about, okay, what do I want to do? Where do I want to take this? But not in a way that makes your brain start overthinking everything and start stressing yourself out and giving yourself anxiety. Okay. So with that, I feel like now with that, I want to look at the Romance Angel cards. This option, this energy, what are we supposed to do with it? Oh, see, that's perfect. See, even though this card is all about romance, it applies, when, you, when you're called to it, it applies to certain things. So it's like make the effort and attraction. So when I see attraction here and I'm seeing the seven of cups, I see emotion and intuition and what, it is, what is it that you're emotionally being drawn to? Draw, what is being drawn to you? What are you feeling pulled towards? What is like fragrant to you? What is beautiful to you? What is it that you're like, I would love to experience this within my life. This is something that I would like to experience. And also, what is making an, an actual effort to be present within your life and explore that a little more without you being like, 
instantly rejecting it. It's very soft energy. It's very, I don't want to say playful, but it's very like um, curious and light. This energy has been very heavy a good portion of this year for many people. So now it's like, you know what? I'm going to allow myself to attract. And also it's about making sure that you feel attractive. Not only on a spiritual realm or a mental realm, if you're anxious and you're rigid and you know stuck, you can't really attract anything in your life, especially abundant things and fragrant things and beautiful things because it's like you just won't flow with it. Like you're not in the Empress energy. But also on a physical realm, make sure that you're feeling beautiful. Make sure that you feel handsome. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you know people can see how it is that you're feeling internally and be attracted to you on that initial surface level. And that is spiritual just as well. You know what I mean? Because we're human beings at the end of the day. Like We need to make sure that we're feeling good, that we're looking good, and that people can see that by how we present ourselves. But if you're you know, feeling garbage and if you're not doing things to make yourself feel good, then that's what people pick up on. So they don't want to invest and give to someone who's not taking care of themselves. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make that effort to make sure that you are, you know, feeling whole, that you feel pretty, that you're feeling vibrant. Take those extra steps. If that means getting a massage, if that means going to the gym, if that means taking the time out to deep condition your hair and moisturize it so your curls are on fleek, then you gotta do that. You have to make that effort. But I'm also seeing that when you make that effort for yourself and you're giving that time to yourself and you're being present in that moment and enjoying it, that beautification process, other people are going to be attracted to you. That's why I use oils every day. I use my oils for attraction because number one, they're charged for it, especially the goddess vibes. It reminds me of the goddess within. It's, it reminds me to take care of myself physically. Um, but also the intention that it is that I'm putting out there, all of those things are working in alignment to help me to glow. It's like got a uh, glamour magic, internal self-love magic, intention, physically taking care of my skin, taking care of my hair, all those components are all factored into my magic in order to help me to become the, the greatest manifester. And as you guys know, like I haven't been in a space of totally manifesting things. I've been manifesting a space of peace and quiet currently in my status quo. So I haven't been calling out because everything that I've wanted has been provided for, for me, for the most part. And now I'm resting. Okay, so now let's talk about the future. Doing all of that is going to help to get you into this Four of Wands card, which I love this card so much. And this Ten of Cups is happily ever after. Total joy, total contentment, total bliss. What I see with this is the same thing I've been saying all year. What I've been feeling for all of us is the space where I belong this is where I belong this is what belongs to me non-negotiable it's there's no question in it there's no doubt four of wands is this is where my family this is my unit this is my tribe I'm doing what it is that I love it gives to me just as much as I'm giving to it it's very mutual it's mutual giving and receiving so that's what we're seeing with the ten of cups is the abundance the blessing of that that isn't just benefiting one person it's benefiting the all but by one person it's you but if you're so stuck in this um, mentality of obsessive thinking and what's going to happen next you can never go to the ten of cups you can never enjoy the four of wands because your brain is obsessing and with this I want to go back to the romance angels the romance angels deck and I also want to go to notes from the universe oh, okay Okay, this energy is light, but it's also heavy at the same time. So we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and let your friends help you. With let your friends help you, I feel like this is you connecting again with your tribe, your people. So the Bahati Vibe tribe, and we're all sharing our stories, we're all connecting on a spiritual, emotional, mental, physical levels, you know what I mean? Like we're all kind of connecting in that way. But it's like also finding where you belong and what are your friends saying, like the energy that they bring? Hopefully it's positive, hopefully it's constructive. Let them, when they tell you the good things about, about yourself, believe it. When they're trying to get you out and they're trying to you know, bring positive energy, receive it, you know what I mean? And then also heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I'm definitely seeing this as a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself where you're being honest and authentic with yourself, where you're being empathetic with yourself, you're forgiving yourself. 
but also you might be connecting with someone else that you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them so that they understand, so that they can understand how you've been struggling, how things have been making you feel, and they can be, they can be available to you in that way so you can deepen your connection, so you can deepen your bond with them. All right, so hold on. Then I wanna ask the universe from this, notes from the, from the universe about love and connection. What do we need to hear with the heart-to-heart -heart conversations? What is to be said? What is to be known? Feel this one. Okay. Love doesn't have to be near, so I'm feeling that there is some type of separation there. Maybe it's like you're physically separated from someone, or maybe you just miss someone or maybe they've gone on to the next side meaning like next side meaning like next life i go where you go so i feel like despite that distance despite that separation they're always there with you maybe there was a, a recent splitting or maybe there was a disconnect maybe there was a misunderstanding Maybe there was conflict, maybe there was discord. Again, everyone is trying to do their best, but maybe their best was not enough. Maybe there was some lying, maybe there wasn't some authentic expression that was happening, and maybe that's why there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to happen in order for the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups to happen. The one thing that I will say is that with karma is on your side, literally karma is the things that we can't control. It's the things that, I don't wanna say that we're a victim of, but we have to experience for our own growth. So when something happens to separate people or when there's conflict that happens that ruffles feathers and there's you know, tension, it's there to serve a purpose and to serve a lesson or to heal something in some way. So I really feel like any type of separation that happens, there's going to, it almost seems like a reconnection of some, in some way, like a reconnection that's going to happen or a conversation that needs to happen, a heart to heart conversation to reach out to someone to have better understanding so that you can have this space of healing because maybe that's the bond that's been on you. Maybe it's not an actual conversation that you can have. Maybe it's a release letter that you need to get off your chest and release it in that way. And then there's this card that says, convince yourself, not others. So this kind of, let me move this a little bit because it's starting to get hot. The sun is moving really fast. All right, you guys, I'm back. And actually moving was for the better. I was so stubborn with like sitting in that spot because I wanted to continue to just hang out with you guys in the sun, but that just goes to show you that sometimes when you're flexible and you're open to moving, not only do you get a better spot next to this palm tree and closer to the water, but you get shade, the birds are singing, it feels better, you feel this energy, this spot here feels so much better. But anyways, um, where I left off was this card that says, convince yourself, not others. And I think that that goes back to what it was that I was saying originally, which is, you know, this forgiveness that needs to happen, maybe you might, it's a, it's a blessing to receive it from, the, the, from that person, but maybe it's internally something that you need to tell yourself, which is if we know that when I hear the words, everyone is doing their best, I think that what, I, what I'm hearing is that what I should have received from that person or what I should have received from that relationship or what I got from that person or how I was treated in that job opportunity or in that dynamic, was not what it was that I deserved, ultimately. That's why we're saying everyone is doing their best, which means that they're doing the best that they can, but again, what they're doing is, at the end of the day, it's not enough. And when it comes to this releasing and this bond, this bind that's on you with the devil card that we pulled and the eight of swords and this obsessing and wondering and waiting and wishing and hoping that things were different and for the sake of our own healing and being so caught and consumed by our anxiety, our depression, our pessimistic thoughts and you know where our healing is going to come from it's it's a blessing to have that conversation with someone else but i don't think that we can expect from them more than what they've already given and by ex realizing that and by releasing that and by convincing yourself that you are worthy and that how other people treated you and the 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 rewards the consequences consequences the punishments that you've received maybe they had nothing to do with you maybe they had everything to do with someone else in a lot of ways you know other people how they treat each other and usually has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with their own perceptions and their own internal demons 
Again, everyone is doing their best, but if they're operating from a lower vibration, then that's exactly what it is that you're going to get. Don't punish yourself and fault yourself and get mad at yourself for attracting that energy into your life. Remember that even the brightest lights attract duller energies all the time, or you may, you yourself may have been in a space where you had that dull energy and you may have lashed out or word, I don't say word vomited, but you know, had a, a reaction to something but that reaction was there for a reason and forgive yourself within that so convince yourself not others for your for the sake of your own healing and release it as best as best as you can release it and let go of it so that you can have this burden taken off of your off of your chest so that you can go into the space again of four of wands ten of cups the other thing that I'm seeing and as I'm saying that there's like a wasp so I feel like there's someone's anger someone's anger got the best of them and they, they lashed out the other thing that I feel with the um, convince yourself not others card is do you feel worthy of the blessings that it is that you're calling in do you feel like it's going to happen are you obsessed and you're wondering how is it going to manifest don't worry about that let the universe take care of that for you convince yourself that things are going to be fine other people believe it faster than you believe it yourself am I right a lot of times so go into a space where you know that karma is on your side and that the balance is being restored and that you will be provided for. Right, Franklin? He's like, it's hot, are we gonna leave soon? Okay, baby, we'll go soon, okay? Let me just shuffle from the enchanted map. Because I really feel like I want to. Actually, I wanna do the romance cards again. These cards are scattered around my bag currently because when I was moving to this spot, I just threw them in. What type of connections will we get when we release? What type of connection is on the way? I knew this card was gonna jump out I was just waiting for it you deserve love and engagement so whether this is a relationship that is current present in your life or whether it's a career or whatever the case is this is whatever it is that you currently have right now is ascending to the next level regardless whether it's a relationship a career your health or whatever it's going to the next level why because you deserve it why because you're a good person why because you deserve forgiveness why because you're a compassionate person why because you have a good heart simply put you deserve it convince yourself of that you don't need to convince anyone else you don't need to trick anyone into or sell anyone into believing what it is that you're or yeah you don't need to like convince someone to buy what it is that you're selling like they should they, they should know tell yourself of the worthy that you are worthy if you know that you have a good quality you know item or if you know that you're a good quality person then convince yourself of that every day rise up within that truth and do not settle for less don't sell your your services for less than what it is that you're worth don't sell your heart to someone who doesn't deserve it who you know isn't going to take care of it don't make yourself so available to someone who doesn't value and invest in that time and that energy and that effort that it is that you're putting out there. I mean, the list goes on and on. Realize that whatever it is that you have been wanting is going to ascend to the next level, but you need to realize also that you deserve this love, this con connection, this commitment, this investment. And move with that. Move with that knowledge. Every decision that you should make, let it be one that is healthy and that is a reflection of your value. And now let's do the ascended map. So where are we currently? Where are we headed? And how do we get there? Oh, wow. The 
tourists are starting to come out. No offense to New Orleans people who come in and visit, but I see y'all. Okay, so where are we at currently? We're learning. And in that learning has to come forgiveness because if you are learning something, you're not expected to master it at the first try. You're not expected to have it all figured out. You're not supposed to have all the answers. That's a part of the learning process is by trying something out and failing a few times. Everyone is doing their best with what they got. And as they're doing that, they're learning a lot. They're learning a lot about what they want. They learn a lot about what they are willing to do, what they won't, what they're not willing to do. They're learning how to communicate. They're learning how to do better. And you're, the same is true for you, right? So where does that, where is it, where is it that we're going? Is into a space of encouragement. I'm also seeing support. I'm seeing connections again. This is where the the unions that you make, the bonds that you make, the relationships that are in your life, they're 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 healthy. That's what I get when I see this encouraging card. It's very healthy, it's very supported. And you're gonna feel supported. It's very four of wands, ten of cups. You're where you belong. That's where it is that we're headed. Also, we're heading to a space where our prayers are manifesting themselves and we are in a space of total surrender, total release. And that's not a one-time thing. I see it as an ongoing thing. It's like an understanding that you have with the divine that, okay, any need that it is that I need to be provided for, all I have to do is speak it out into the universe and it is provided for just in that moment. That's the magic prayer card and that's what it is that I'm seeing. That's where we're going. It's not a one-time thing. This is a lifestyle. This is you. <gasps> Ow! I got bit by an ant. Yeah, this is a lifestyle. This is a belief system that you'll incorporate for the rest of your life. Don't abandon that like spiritual belief of you know you knowing that you are being protected and provided for regardless of how messy you are how many mistakes you've made, the things that you've done in the past, how many bridges you've burned. <laughs> That's so funny. And then also, where is that we're going, that dry desert? I think when I see this card, I don't see this as, okay, we're entering into barren circumstances. It's you understanding that despite anything, like how things look, you're going, you're a resilient human being, you're a strong human being. And that no matter how things look on the external, you're going to survive. I also see this, the resurrection rose. I see certain things kind of resurrecting themselves. And I see this, I don't know why, but when I see this bird here, I'm seeing something coming in as a message that brings things back to life. It may seem like things are desolate. It may seem like things are dead, but it's not. It's an invitation for the universe to come in and to work a miracle on your behalf. And that's where it is that we're going. It's like total miraculous healing, cleansing, being replenished, being you know, filled, your cup filled with rain, even in the midst of a desert. That's what makes it the miracle is the fact that like, I can't even believe that we're receiving this right now. I can't even believe this is my life. How do we get there? Gentle, don't nudge. Don't do anything more than what it is that you current. And then I look at the time of this, me filming this aspect and it's 11, 11.01. But yeah, gentle gardeners, allow things to unfold, not by forcing it, not by pushing it, but just knowing that those seedlings have already been placed and that they're doing the best they can to grow. So give them that space to do that. And if you're not doing that, then you're gonna crush them before they even get a chance. So just kind of nurture them and also give them their space. Take a step back, water them as needed, and then go back inside. It's not all about like tending, 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 and poking it and Okay, checking on the status, no, let it go. They're going to grow. That's how we get there, is by gently guarding it, gardening it. And I also see this as you gently gardening yourself, nurturing yourself, giving yourself the time, the space to take what you need in order to make sure that your cup is filled. And stop checking on your own progress. Just give yourself the space. <laughs> I feel like we need one more card and then I'm gonna zip off because I am hungry. And that's the one thing I didn't bring on this picnic is a snack and my camera. But we're gonna make do with what we have. Okay, so one last final message to help us along the way and to, to leave you guys in good energy and good spirits. Yeah, before I go on. Oh, I 
feel like that was the card. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. See, this is perfect. Reflect and stillness. So as soon as I see this, these two cards together, I think of like this water that I'm next to right now, that when that water is still, you can actually see your reflection in the clear. And that's a metaphor and a, sim a symbol of where we're all at right now. It's not all about creating like waves. It's not all about creating movement. It's about connecting within ourselves and finding that peace within so that the water can clear itself, so that the water will still, and you can see what's going to happen next. And I don't even think it's so much about planning for the future as much as it is finding peace within the present and allowing things to be still now. Don't, I know, the universe and not the universe the internet is so connected with manifesting and thinking about the future but so much within me now is reminding us to be present in the now and yes we are setting intention yes we are calling things in yes we are healing our past but we're forgetting how important the present moment is right we're, we've been so consumed with cutting these generational curses and healing these things that have happened to us that's all part of the past we've been all about going into our past lives and so that we can better understand ourselves and what it is that we're manifesting in the future. But what we're not doing is we're not talking about the present. Let the present move us into a space where we can find peace once again. Let the water steal, still. And then when that stills, then it's time to travel. Then it's time to move forward. Then the path is going to make sense. But you don't even, you're not even concerned about where it is that you're going because you know that wherever it is that you're going is perfect and divine and things are just as they should be. All right? So, oh, that actually makes sense. So stillness, in calm waters, everything becomes clear. Ow, son of a gun. Clearly, it's time for me to move forward. This ant, I had to kill him. He bit me so hard. I am a sweet, sticky thing. <laughs> I'm like, honey, honey. Okay, so reflect. Peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back and then also travel. Seeing the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to see the coral. But I see this as us going. Are you ready to move on, baby? Are we ready to have dinner? I'm craving cake. I'm craving a nice slice of chocolate cake. So that's what I will have. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and tuning in. Again, I know some of you guys are at work working hard and just keeping your mind sharp and bringing in that abundance and that blessing and doing your best work and doing what you do best and maybe even grinding, working for yourself, creating connections for yourself, creating changes for yourself. Some of you guys are winding down at the end of the night. You're getting ready for bed. Are you going to have an asthma attack? getting ready for bed you're reflecting on the day but yeah just to remember to stay present in this moment usually by connecting with your breath usually helps not expecting anything more or less having gratitude for what is currently given to you realizing that that is enough even though you may want more for yourself even though you may have you may be you know, understanding where it is that you come from. How others have treated you, what that's looked like. Understanding what, where they've come from, but also not, not allowing it anymore. Do you know what I mean? These are some things that I'm feeling. All right, you guys, let me know if you like this relaxed, hanging out type of energy if it benefited you by giving it a thumbs up or letting me know down in the comments. Yes, your comments make a difference. Yes, I read the majority of them, the majority of them. And um, your thumbs up makes a difference. And definitely if you subscribe, there's plenty more videos where this come from, came from. We can hang out more, but just let me know, okay? All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.